the thing the reason that i wanted to do this live streaming is because i want to make an announcement to my dharma sisters and brothers based in bhutan um uh, it's going to be it's not going to be in a ro uh, royal uh, tourism and uh, hospitality it's going to be at the uh, cbs um the central bhutan studies and you know and the gns studies that's the the department you know the basically the facility that we are going to do all the nikuma yoga uh, for saturday and sunday so if you haven't registered you can just show up uh, over there it's going to be from 9 30 in the morning uh, and then lunchtime and then in the afternoon it will be <clears throat> it will be 2 p.m to 5 p.m of course there will be a session break those who don't know where cbs is it's basically it's in between lanshupaka and taba mm, it's like when you reach lanshupaka you just go straight down the road and um it's on the way to the India house uh, and then you will see the the CBS entrance on the left side and that's where we did the Vajrayana conference last time and this uh, this time we're going to do the uh, Niguma Yoga event properly this time because last time it was uh, you know there were so many different event uh, so this time we're going to do a proper training inhale exhale uh, practice along with the bodhicitta practice as well and um, Sewa GD. Rambaji, are you going to do any teachings in temple besides yoga? Well, it's, I'm going to teach yoga, but obviously it's not going to be only physical. It's going to be Bodhicitta teaching, Changju Sembi, Changju Sembi, Labja Tauche, Tene, Changju Gesembi Rambaji Tone, Chamba Da Ningje Tone, De Gom Gi, Gom Gati Gasu Gom. Kandesson you still in Bhutan? Uh, yes, yes, I'm still in Bhutan. And I'll be here until the end of the month. But the public engagement is going to be only the Saturday and Sunday. This uh, this uh, upcoming weekend, Saturday, Sunday. So, love from Bangladesh. Thank you. Okay, so... Have any questions that you have uh, in mind? Feel free. Probably I will do like one or two questions. Kato, look at this one. Hello, say hello. Look, say hello. No, nothing. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, I would like to request to my uh, our fellow Bhutanese Dharma sisters and brothers uh, that I'm going to provide some snacks uh, during the Niguma Yoga event for Saturday and Sunday. But mainly for the lunch, please bring it by yourself, something to for yourself and then something to share uh, also so everybody can bring something to share. Uh, we are not going to cook anything, but I'm going to bring like, uh, uh, how do I say, ting ting ma and then some snacks, uh, but and some snacks, some water, I'm going to handle that. 
uh, for our you know participant, but the rest of the things such as like uh, lunch, um, you know, please bring it by yourself, or you want to bring something extra to share with others, you are very much welcome to do that, lah. Yeah. And of course, the Niguma Yoga event is free, and then you don't have to pay for anything. You just come over, and you just need to show your commitment. That's the most important. And please spread the message to your fellow, you know, our Dharma sisters and brothers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's that. So that more people can participate. Uh, so there is a certain amount of people who are already registered. You know. So if you can't make it in the morning, you come in the afternoon. If you can't make it in the afternoon, you know, then you come on Sunday. But make sure that you, you know, committed to a full session or a full day at least, so that you have a better understanding about everything that I'm mentioning. Uh, you know everything that I'm trying to explain, uh, and so on. You know, so so that's that. I would like to meet you if you ever come in Greece. Thank you. Probably in the future. Slowly. Kunli di wangmo kuzambola from Kumtula. Tashi Dele from Kharkov, Poland. Uh, Pimi, Rinpoche, will it be okay just to attend one day? Absolutely. If you attend one day, that some that is something that I would be very happy about. Because if you just attend one session and then it's just enough, not enough, kind of confusing in the middle. So if you attend a whole day, uh, whether it's a first day or whether it's a second day, uh, so it doesn't matter. So at least attending the, you know, either of the, these two days. Uh, so that's that. Okay. Lucky Charm. Rinpoche, can I have a name for my newborn son? La? Lucky Charm. Uh, Dorji Jansen. Dorji Jansen will be the, your son's name. And I wish you all the best to your family. Sonam Tenzin. Hello, Rinpoche from Perth, from Australia. I just want to salute you. Thank you very much. Tashi Dele from Nepal. Tashi Dele. Uh, Kaza, uh, Rinpoche, Inge Tone Sonia Redam, Pege Tone Sonia Re. Uh, Ale, did that sign in the Nigumagi, uh, magic church at the castle that the Tamsam that Zonghaki Jawache wrote at Chara, Nima Zonghaki, the Shingi, or the Neparkapchi, the Nati, and Druki, the Des, Ma, Yam, something that, and then Chick Druki, Redes, Yajitai, the one that she chapped the good in it, and she didn't touch it. Mansia, the injig tone church, she go to that in some summer, and she gave you my go what in the summer, she got that to grow. Dima to the young. え、チェケチェコチェテネテニアンロチョンアテンチェテネチャンソンチェトナンデンスラドゴドワ。ワテンデレレ。ソナムザンモ。Can mm-hmm. you please briefly talk about meditation? <coughs> Well, there's a two different kind of meditation. There's an object-based meditation, and then there's a non-duality uh, state of mind meditation. So, in order to have a clear understanding about the meditation, we need to have a foundation uh, of the meditation itself. That is very important. If you don't have any sort of a foundation, then again, even you want to meditate so desperately, it doesn't work. So therefore, physical uh, principle, looking after your health, looking after your mind, having a bit of awareness, that is very important. Then on the top of that, when you're actually doing a meditation, you have to uh, start with a breathing exercise, your mind based on the breath that is going out and in, and then shamatha practice, shamatha vipassana practice, that is very important. And then slowly, whether it's a deity or not, 
mm, you know, object-based meditation, uh, and then non-duality meditation. Eventually, at the end, you know. So, so that's that. Yangzu, Rinpoche, one name for my daughter. Pema Yangzhi. Pema Yangzhi will be the name for your daughter. And I wish you the best for your family. Sonam Tenzin, Rinpoche, please bless. Please, can you bless me with your blessing? Tume. That's Sonam Tenzin. That Tume Yashodi Susuki. Number chin, I need to mean and get on boron and email. Nagi to member was in Shura Mill. Nasu Suzuki Yam Nimbe Betany Changsuki Sam Gom, Lala Mokonjusun, Monam Tabe, and Nabi number chin, blessing Chotu Juba and Ira email. Nagi blessing Shura Mill. Anneli Nagi blessing Monam Tabachin and double across. How to say? I don't know. Even cross the table, so it's better you 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 do your own blessing. It's important. Yanki will Rinpoche visit other Dzongkhala in Bhutan. I will visit uh, Kutu, I think, in November, and um, to do some sort of a gathering, prayers, pujas. But this time it's just a Nigoma event, mm, so that's why I encourage everyone whoever is in Thimpu, nearby Thimpu, if it's possible for you to participate in this event. Chimi, Rinpoche, la peyu la kadu chibju naya res, da peyu, da sa ni kale, kale si ni jai yin, tanda ni gabri na cha shi kaya me la, chimi la, ネガブルンタンアサイナニエナタンダタンダアメリカンドゴロワアメリカンドチェテネサイナニエンチェチェンジョウレテニアアメリカンドゴロワアメリカンドチェテネアメリカンニューヨークネチェテネハワイパートレ
kindness and compassion at the end. And you cannot be compassionate to everybody. There's always the terrible people. There's the people who take advantage of you, terrible people, terrible people. You know, so don't push yourself to be compassionate. You know, be kind, be good, but don't let your compassion and your kindness to be misused by the people who never valued you, who never valued you, who never respected you from the beginning. Okay? And have a big heart and slow down on being responding too quick to any sort of a circumstance. Always have a good observation perspective from your mindset. That's very important because you can be a man of action, but a man of action can cause a lot of problems and a lot of mistakes. So, so that's that. So try to be slow down on your reacting you know, your reaction, and be mindful, and be truthful, and be sincere when you can. And if you can't, that's that. What, uh, what's the difference between Nyingma and Kajula? The, the difference between the Nyingma and Kaju is there is no difference. The difference is made by people. And the end of story. Because whether you you know whether you look at the Nyingma or Kaju or Gelu or Sacha or Nyingma or Gelu Chonang Shampa, whatever the tradition may be, the origin comes from the Lord Buddha Himself. Uh, so therefore, having that sort of a perception is very important. Of course, in terms of lineage, everybody has their own way of giving teaching, but it doesn't mean the essence is different, isn't it? Yeah. So. Guru Rinpoche himself is the emanation of the Buddha Shakyamuni. It's not something against, it's not something separate. And so therefore all the Buddhas and all the Bodhisattva has a one goal, and that is to liberate all the sentient beings. They don't have their own version of heaven and where they want to put all the sentient beings and which is their favorite heaven and pure land and all that. They don't have that. All the Bodhisattva's existence is to benefit and liberate all the sentient beings. It is the sentient beings' ignorance that is blocking all the possibilities and our negative karma as well. So there is no difference between the Nyingma, Kaju, Gelu, Chona, Shampa, you know, Sacha, whatever the tradition may be. It's just the people who makes their own uh, separate organization. And sometimes you need to make that separate organization. Sometimes you need to make that distinctive organization, in order to, in order to, in order to uh, maintain its teachings, its lineage, its transmission that has been passed down. But in essence, all of them are the same. Yeah. If they are against each other, in terms of teachings, then that means two Buddhas are arguing each other, isn't it? which will never happen, because the Buddha and Bodhisattvas, they are beyond the illusion of mind. Therefore, we call them a Buddha. So, end of story. But it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm becoming like a chilip, where I say, oh, everything is same, nothing matters. That's not what I'm trying to say. There's a distinction in every different lineage, all the teaching has to be respected. All the teachings has to be valued. Should not be overshadowed each other under any circumstance. Uh, but essence is all the same. To liberate all the sentient being, whatever it takes. That's the whole principle. Okay, so... Sonam Tenzi, Rinpoche, please, could you give me a name for my son-in-law? He was just born today morning. Sonam Tenzi, I think the name will be Sonam Janze. Sonam Janze will be the name for your son-in-law. And I wish you a wonderful time with your family.
Kusu zampolarım bıçe. I have a question and I don't know it is silly to ask or not, but I just want to clear my doubts on it la. Can we really vanish the soul after death if we wish la? If not, if there is a vanish our soul, what? Okay. There is no such thing as a vanishing our soul. Um, it's just the subtle level of consciousness, uh, the soul. You know, it goes to the next realm or the next life and so on. There's no such thing as vanishing. The physical level is all temporarily, you know, regardless of the length of time. Uh, so that's that. I think, I think this person over here had enough with the my Dharma Q&A session. Looks a little bit, you know, falling asleep a little bit. Maybe not. Hmm? Okay. Okay. So I just wanted to put a little bit of summary to all of you. Uh, so we have a, a Niguma Yoga event this Saturday and Sunday starts from nine o'clock and nine thirty in the morning. If you can't participate both of the days, you can just pass it, participate one day. And please bring your own meal for the lunch. I will provide the snacks and some water. Um, if you haven't registered and you know, it's, it's still okay, you can just come over. 9.30 until 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Okay? So, so that's that. Everybody, have a good evening and good night and take care. And looking forward to seeing you very soon this Saturday and Sunday. Many Tashidele. Bye bye.